worked a long time, I don't want to say how many years, in local radio and television. And I graduated from Wichita Heights way, way back in 1975. Uh, now there's some parts of this building that I remember a lot. And then there's others I'd like to forget. But uh, it was quite a time during that 75 year, senior year, as it is for all those who matriculated way through the hallways, the classrooms, sports fields, wrestling mats here at Star Heights High School. It's indeed my pleasure to be here, and we're glad that you all found the time to attend to encourage the students that participated in the football game yesterday. The car show, I understand, was fantastic. Had a very good turnout, and of course, uh, they have a lot more activities uh, planned as well, even tomorrow. So check your programs for tomorrow's events as well. The weekend actually is just getting started, but it is Saturday night. And again, we want to thank you for being here and part of the ceremonies. Well, without further ado, we will begin with the awards presentation. And uh, we are fortunate enough to have most of our honorees here. And uh, we will first start out with a video. I have my video people coming behind me. And let's start the video. Amy Morrison Hassar was unable to make it, however, she did prepare a video, and we will have that video here momentarily. And Amy, a champion diver, is a member of the class of 1987. And, okay. Well, you know what? There's always an asterisk in the program. And we will move on because the next person that we will recognize is a 15, spent 15 years career as head coach of Wichita Heights High School wrestling program. And that person is none other than Mr. D. Gar. Coach Gar, the Always too numerous to list, however. Ten times City League champion, nine times state top five finishes for the wrestlers, 59 state tournament placers, two All Americans, and state championships in the year 1976 and 1968, which was Hype's first ever state championship title in any sports. Go ahead and show them some love for that. Also, the 1999 Kansas Wrestling Hall of Fame. Now, please put your hands together and welcome as the inaugural inductee into the newly created Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame, Coach D. Gar. Actually, 
I came to Heights and Heights opened. August of 61. And uh, you talk about difficult. Uh, I was in the classroom and we didn't have desks. Some of you may have heard people talk about that. Uh, my wife was teaching home ec at the time here didn't have a lot of the supplies that they did. I taught driver ed for a couple of years and didn't even have textbooks. But eventually we became known as Heights High School and eventually became a member of the Wichita, Greater Wichita Division after the city annexed uh, over half of our evaluation when they took in the other box and the river power plant. But uh, that, that's, that's all in the past in this uh, The reason I'm here, and I'm, I realized that it after a year or two of coaching, is that if you don't have good athletes, you're not going to be successful. So I'm accepting this on behalf of Tribe County the other day. Between 200 and 250 young men that bought into a philosophy of hard work and determination creates. Oftentimes results in success. And the success that Heights Wrestling had for the 16 years I was here is, is because of those 250 young men. And so I'm accepting this on their behalf. And it's two to four, Coach Guard. Go ahead and give them some love, y'all. That was a great And I can truly say, since several of us in here were present when Coach Barr was on duty, uh, he is and continues to be a man of his word, integrity, and as he mentioned, a lot of hard work and passion those young men bought in. Some of them played football with us. The record didn't show it, but the energy and the passion was there. All right, congratulations, Coach. All right. Now, Miss Amy is unable to be here. However, we do have a video of her accepting the award as part of her championship diving career here at Wichita High School in class of 1970. And we'll go to the video now. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're having a great time at the Red and Black Banquet and the um, Wichita Heights High School Alumni Weekend. Unfortunately, my husband and I aren't able to attend. We're hosting a dog rescue um, event tomorrow morning starting at 8 o'clock. So it would have made a pretty quick turnaround time for me to get back here to Omaha and uh, get that event started. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for nominating me for the inaugural Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame induction class. Um, never expected anything like this when I got the uh, information about being nominated. I never thought that I would be selected, but I do um, appreciate it and I'm very, very honored. Um, I had a lot of fun in high school representing Wichita Heights High School in every event that I competed in and um, all the friends and all the good uh, times that we had with, with the swimming and diving team. Um, again, thank you so much for the nomination and for the, uh, I guess, acceptance into the 
inaugural Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame. Um, it is quite an honor. I'd like to thank um, Darren Lucy, Jason Jabara, um, Doug McKay with uh, Falcon Logistics, anybody else that's been involved that I don't know your names. Um, and of course, um, Wichita Heights, always, always a, uh, a fun spot in my heart. I had a lot of fun going to school there, really growing up there in Wichita with my classmates. And um, that's about it. Thank you so much. Everybody enjoy the weekend. Um, Y'all take care. All right, show her some love. Thank you, Ms. Um, I want to listen to anyone related to Amy that would like to come up and accept it. Just want to throw that out there just in case someone came in. If not, we will hold that award for her. All right, next is a 1972 graduate of Wichita Heights. Cynthia Sykes Yorkin is a former Miss Wichita and Miss Kansas as well as finishing in the top 10 in top 10 in the Miss America pageant. She is an actress both on stage and on screen, and most recently, she knows Harrison Ford. I mean, how cool is that? Recently, as a producer, she was uh, able to bring a critically acclaimed, acclaimed film, Blade Runner, and my wife will tell you, I watch that all the time, uh, to the screen. And so, this time, let's please welcome, as an inaugural inductee into the newly created Wichita High High School Hall of Fame, Cynthia Sykes Yorkin. Well, it's a pleasure to be here back in Wichita. I'm very honored to be involved and selected for this wonderful award. Um, I want to thank so many people that put this together, Kayla, and meeting Flip, and Darren, and there's so many nice, nice people that made this possible, so thank you. Um, it's quite an illustrious nominee, so I'm very, very happy to be here to be included. I look back, I, it's so nice to be home and see my mom and uh, where I grew up, and uh, be in LA, it's such a different place, and I always kind of look at LA, my Kansas hat on, looking at it from the outside in. I think that common sense I learned here and kind of the foundation coming to school here uh, has served me throughout time and struggles and that I've had to overcome in a big city. Um, I look back at the wonderful teachers I had and it was inspired in so many ways to explore things I was interested in, from being in the choir and after girls into journalism class. I uh, just really enjoyed so many different avenues to explore and uh, that helped me a lot to, on my way to, uh, to, to getting into acting and singing and writing and all kinds of things. So um, it was really a really wonderful memories here. Um, thank you everyone, thank you for being here. And I, my dear classmate Ed Belize here and, and uh, Mr. Jabara and there's so many, many friends I've gotten to see while I'm here. So, Pleasure meeting everyone, and thank you for your support for this wonderful uh, new uh, award ceremony. All right, how about one more time for Ms. Cynthia Sykes Morgan? Um, there's another high school in town with, with somebody. Dad um, on the rubber company, the pain fails me that in high school, I don't know. Um, Allie something, Christy somebody. But we have our own, am I not right? We have our own, okay? I'm not doing any shade, I'm going to be careful my wife is here tonight. It'll be all right. All right, so moving on, we're here with another presentation. And uh, 45th governor of the state of Kansas, Mark Parkinson, unable to be here tonight, however, we do have video, so we will go to the videotape and uh, hear from Governor Parkinson. And of course, you know, software is always good as your last effort. So you know how that works. We're good. Nation, Mark, Mark, 
isolation of our department What an honor it is to be recognized tonight. Uh, I have three directors at high school in the mid 70s, and they've lost a lot of friends, and they've lost a lot of friends. We did some things that, well, I didn't get caught at, 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 I didn't University, it's a plain meaning of the word in their language. Going to school with all types of different folks and all types of different backgrounds, talking about it. I am super honored to be with all of the other folks. Cindy Sykes, I'm starstruck by her back when I was in school and it's fun watching her career. And of course, we took the basketball team in 1977. They were a couple of years behind me in the class. They were amazing. And being in a class with all of those folks, it just means the world to me. I now have an association back to DC. We've got 5,000 people that we're hosting the big event tonight, so I can't be there, but I'll be thinking about you tonight. Thank you very much for this honor. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. 5,000 people or 50,000 people or 50 people. We're still going to have a good time tonight, all right? We're going to make this work, and we want to thank everyone involved again for hosting the inaugural event. All right. This next person, Quintel. We could go on for days about this person. Antoine Carr is an All-American retired basketball player, nicknamed Big Dog. Lived down the street over there, Pleasant Valley basketball. And of course, here at Wichita Heights, a long and storied 16-year career overseas and played on the numerous teams in the NBA. Also, he was a second team parade All-American. And uh, Antoine, he turned 60 already, my goodness. All right. So what does that make me? What am I talking about that for today? All right, uh, Antoine was born in Oklahoma City. He later had a legendary prep career right here at Wichita Heights and stayed in Wichita uh, with that other fellow who put together the bookends at Wichita State University. Uh, during his four years as a shopper, Carr averaged 17 points a game, shot 55% from the field. In his final game at WSU, he scored 47 points against Southern Illinois. He put it on them. It's still, is it still a single season game, a single game scoring record at Wichita State to this day? Carr exited as the third all-time leading scorer in team history. Now, first he was drafted by the Pistons, but didn't come through contract agreements, went overseas, and then a year later returned uh, with the Atlanta Hawks, played there for a half dozen teams, including the Utah Jazz, went up against Michael Jordan. Uh, Carr finished his NBA career with more than 9,000 points, 3,400 rebounds, and 900 blocked shots. That's incredible. Antoine's uh, number 35 jersey is among only five retired in the history of Wichita State basketball. It hangs in the rafter at Coke Arena. Carr is also a member of the Missouri Valley Conference Hall of Fame, also the Shocker Sports Hall of Fame, and the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame, and also the Wichita Sports Hall of Fame. And now, of course, he is inducted into the Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame. Accepting on his behalf is his brother, James Carr. James? We only have three minutes, James. You only have three minutes. On behalf of Antoine, I'd like to say thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you, coming up as Antoine's brother, it was different. Okay, uh, I thought I was good. Okay, but I can remember Antoine coming up at halftime. I mean, excuse me, at, at lunch break, and I, everybody looking at him and saying, "Hey, who? What college is that kid play for?" Okay, and all the time, Antoine was in junior high. Also, I can remember when I would go to the game when he was in Pleasant Valley, I look up and I see Dean Smith, John Wood, uh, everybody the who's being on road, everybody the who's school basketball. So I knew that it was a little bit something different about this kid. Now, the one thing that I will say that Ed White wanted me to relate to you guys is that everything that he did, he did with you guys in mind. I was often asked what it was about uh, Wichita Hayes that made a team different. The one thing that I'll tell you is that what 
made us differences. It was love. It was genuine love that we had for each other. Uh, and speaking of diversity, that was the one thing that I appreciated most that Coach Noah went about to us. He taught us that there was no difference in any of us. One of the things that he did is that each Sunday, we would go to church as a team. Whether it was a Catholic church, and what we did is we went to the church of each one of those team members, so we had to rotate. So one week we go to a Baptist church, one moment we go to an LDS church, and next week we're at a Catholic church. So that way we learned that everybody's equal, no, no difference in any of us. Um, the other thing that I know that Coach Norman did with us is he made us all into me. He made us responsible. He made us be, you know, make sure that we did our schoolwork, that we looked at life after basketball because we realized that, you know, that was only a short time period. Now, one thing that Antoine always did when he had the opportunity to go up against Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, David Robinson, all these guys, we always thought back. We always thought about Dale Taylor, Calvin Alexander, Steve Knight. We thought about all the guys, you know, because we knew that we could compete with these guys. Michael Jordan ain't got nothing to lose. So, okay, so we would always sit down and have a good talk before he had to go out there against the big guy. And I say, Twan, ain't no difference than going against John Wright or Boone McRae or none of those guys. If you can get them, you can get a big shot. So once again, on behalf of Antoine, I'd like to thank you. And I'd like to thank you uh, for uh, having my team conducted to the Adderall Wichita Ice Hall of Fame. And I am told we will hear from the big dog himself. Wait till James gets back to his seat so he can uh, see the presentation. Oh, well, there he is. This is Antoine Carr. This is a great honor to be recognized. You might, you might be a great guy. From our brother to the last player on the bench. We had all kinds of people, black, red, and white, a diversity that made this school that is a great thing. I am so sorry I couldn't make it today. I had a previous decade. But would have loved to benefit with you guys. So I send my thanks to the committee and to our fans for presenting this honor to me and my teammates. Thank you so much, which you call I. All right. Man, I wasn't that big back in high school. Put on a little bit years. But uh, appreciate that, James. And as James mentioned, there's other teammates of Antoine and James here. And we'll move to the 1997 boys basketball team, state championship boys basketball team, that many consider the finest and most outstanding high school basketball team in Kansas history. It was coached by the legendary mentor, Mr. Lafayette Norwood. High Falcons went. 23 and 0, think about that. 1977 undefeated and defeated their opponents by an average of 33 points, sporting a 91 point average in route to claiming then the class 5A by soundly defeating, and thank goodness, Casey Wynott, always adorned again the side of Wichita schools, 92 to 52. Surrounded by future pro athletes, the 77 team created a perfect store for excellence on the court. So we do have members of the team, and we will ask all of you to come up to the newly graded Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame, the 1977 Wichita Heights High School men's basketball team. Now, Terry Atwater's over here at Gail Zinger. So we might hold on to your boards. We don't want any turnovers. Okay. Oh, Steve Knight. We definitely don't want any turnovers on him. <laughs> you talk about some broken glass. All right. So which one of y'all going to? The Calvin? 
The Jerry Calvin. What's up there? Who's going to speak? I can't speak it. I was gone. <laughs> All right. So. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks a lot, fellas. Thanks a lot. Oh, my. It's Coach. I better give him the microphone. 
made it in that time. Now, there's a lot to be said about these men standing up here. I started my coaching career here in 1969. I was uh, out of my working season, and they took the rookie out of me. Uh, <clears throat> it was my privilege to work as an assistant or off at the work for nine years on, including helping with 1977 team. Many of the coaching techniques that I learned were from off here, and I continued to use them throughout my career. Not only in basketball, but in track and basketball. I coach will get a foot of basketball out of the city. Number one thing, all the activities Bob had always said should be glorified God. And you have heard this up here, you don't hear it out there. And he believed in them. The other thing is, is I don't know if that's Bob, but we talked about family. We were a family. We went to church together. Can you believe that? Go to church together today? Yeah. Then the famous word I learned from law was acclimate. Everybody know what acclimate means? But he would call us before the game, before half time. This word he always used. Acclimate almost every day and in his talks to teams. Each player needed to learn how to acclimate. Or, or field, or the officials. And again, other players expect it. But remember that word, actually. It was a new word I used. They had a teacher set in college. One of the most important things I continue to teach was admiration for your coaches and their spouses. All the scouting. I had a softball team and we out to our spouse and our spouse. And you don't know the time that we put in as a family to make, to make it successful. It's great. Fit, feeling great. Okay? Which the Heights will always hold a special place in my heart as it was the start of my life career and the beginning of many wonderful memories of the wonderful young man. I have been blessed to get to work with. I have, if you need some stories, you know, like Skatchewan back here. We had names, you know, and, uh, but there's a lot of stories. Even Luther Alexander, I can tell you a story about him. And uh, someday I'll release it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 1977. Greatest state high school basketball team in the history of Kansas, right here at Wichita High School. Now, accepting on behalf of the team. Thank you, John. I just received an award for the Height 77 team to stay here at the school where it should be. I am so grateful that I had the chance to actually become a member of the 1977 Heights team. You might be able to see from the color I'm wearing, the Cincinnati red. I chose that for the black and red ceremony. Well, I grew up in Cincinnati, and my story was so unique. I'm actually the guy that wound up writing the Acrophobia 1977 book about the team, even though I had never met any of them, basically until the middle of my junior year. The wonderful thing is that's how God works. I was pretty depressed when I arrived on the scene because you lose all your friends you grew up with. 
But what did I end up with here? Was the opportunity to play on what I consider the greatest high school basketball team, arguably, not only in state history, but in U.S. history. No, I can't prove that. But there are certainly some criteria out there that would lend to that fact. Coach Thompson used to tell us that the gymnasium smelled like burnt rubber because we went up and down that floor and ran line drills and assessment. You were in it again, right? <laughs> and so, you know, it's just, it's such a wonderful uh, set of fates. And I don't really look at fate as a chance per se, because I don't necessarily believe in chance. I think that the God that we serve orchestrates everything in our lives. <laughs> and every day when I pray, I think of memories. First of all, I'd like to thank people like Eric and Darren and Caleb and all the people that sent me emails. I used to be the guy that kind of organized these things for our team, but they took the time to include us in something like this, and it, it is a tremendous blessing to have. And so I want to leave with you uh, my love for this team, my love for Coach Norwood. I wish that Coach could be here today because he was always the type of Christian that really put his whole heart into what he did. And I sure appreciate it. I, I became myself after those days at Heights. I became a longtime Bible student and I love the Lord. And I live every day like Jesus died yesterday. He rose from the grave today and he's coming back tomorrow. And that's how we need to live. And we need to we need to remember that's how we need to treat one another. So I, I just like this Heights 77 team as you might expect by now. And I am really grateful that I had the opportunity to become a part of it. And uh, on behalf of the entire 77 squad, we're honored to have this uh, this uh, award. And I'll try not to drop it. <laughs> but it's very nice, you know. And uh, hopefully that everyone who enters the building can have those memories in their hearts because memories truly are the thing that fuels our brains. It is fuel to our soul when we think back. So let's concentrate on that. Let's concentrate on the rest of the evening just spreading that love. And I thank you very much. All right, now when you make that movie and documentary, my voice is available for hire, so don't forget about it. Don't forget about it. And, and real quick, uh, much has been said about Coach Norwood's fate and how he imprinted that on the basketball team. You know, we were two years ahead of that team, but we were made the team our senior year, and I got to believe that he took the kids to the church because he ran the devil straight out of us here in this gym. <laughs> and you weren't coming off the floor until you completed your drills to his satisfaction. Of course, he had the master plan, and as you can tell, it worked. All right, well, enough of the buildup. Much has been said about this person. In a seven-season career at Wichita Heights, Coach Norwood had many accomplishments from being the first African-American head coach at the high school level in the USD 259 to an undefeated season and a 5-8 state title in 1977. Of course, Norwood believed his greatest contribution to humanity was his impact on those around him. Please welcome, and his brother, Gerald, will be here to accept the inaugural, inaugural inductee to the newly created Wichita Heights High School Hall of Fame, Coach Lafayette Norman. Gerald.
Alexis in the form. The two other grand kids are not here, Janae and Ashley. And also on behalf of his wife, Patricia, I'd like to take this time to thank the induction committee for this opportunity to allow our elder to be recognized. <clears throat> if we were talking about a man that was 6'5", maybe even 6 foot, it would be easy to discuss the capability and talent of this person. We would talk about someone that was wealthy, had plenty of unlimited availability and resources. This would be an even easier story to talk about. But my brother Lafayette, who I'm the youngest in the family, he was one of the older brothers, two brothers that I had, and a sister, came from a very small town, a little town, a little town in Oklahoma called Clear, Clear being Oklahoma. He moved here in 1949, father and mother, family at that time, I was born in Virginia. So if we were talking about someone like that, we need to be talking about it as far as his ability to accomplish it. His first year at East Top, he was a great fellow builder. He didn't make the team, he got cut. And those are the basic building blocks of things that developed and formed the character of a man in the world. So therefore, it is important to understand that this man didn't have a lot of tools in order to be successful. But one thing about our family that is important, we know the power of relationships, we know the power of doing the right thing, we know the power of being a leader instead of a follower. And he had all of those attributes. You know, sometimes there's an old accent that says, you never finish your walk until you will. And one of the gifts that God has given us is the sun. Every day we wake up with the sun. It's rays that spread out and reach any and everyone in the It gives us hope that the day can possibly be bright in our lives. It also is rays purify the air to make it feel that you can make a difference because things are not going to take you over because of the sun. And then the sun does one more thing. It's rays of beneficial growth. It allows the glory and the problem to exist to make the world a beautiful place to live. Lafayette was a gift to our family. He was a gift to the city. He was a gift to the school. He was a gift to our state. He was a gift to our country. He was a gift to the world. Every time that you wake up and you think about the rays that affect you from the intersection of you, you think about, I can make it today. Because of what he had to overcome, I can do it. Because of what he overcome, I'm going to make the world a more beautiful place to live in. Those are the types of impact that a gift can do for you. And we thank God today for his contribution. Now, he would take this award and he would feel very comfortable. And he would not want to say it. We are a family that does not talk about things. We let our results speak for us. He was a person that was letting his results speak for him. He would never have to speak about it himself. So it is indeed an honor that I represent our entire family and all of those in our past history, those in the future, in the acceptance of this award for the highest. Family, please come up for a picture. All right, y'all show some love. Thank you. All right. Hey. We are doing awesome.
awesome long time. One thing I would like to do, as uh, Brother Norwood mentioned, the accomplishments and achievements of Coach Norwood, he had several players in that 77 team that we need to mention again, although Calvin didn't mention them. Calvin Alexander, Julia Sofford, Terry Atwater, Antoine Carr, James Carr, Bobby Ferris, Doc Holden, Steve Knight, Steve Mitchell, Winston Moore, Randy Mullins, Mark Nell, Kevin Richardson, John Tyler, Bert Kendall, Donnell Valentine, that, that, that foggy in my brain, I think. And Dale Ziegler. This is just a few of the young men that were under Coach Norwood's guidance, and the record speaks for itself. And if you thought that the games back then and the point spreads were something, you needed to be here at lunchtime to see those games before we went to class. They were classic games. James on, on the square, back with the boop de doo scoop boom layups. Ziegler, like he was running a 100 meter dash up and down. Terry, no look, all of that. Those games fueled everything that happened here at Heights. Very, very wonderful times. All right, one more time, give it up for him. One more time. We got time. We got time. We got time. All right. We think we hit everybody, right? We got everybody. But we want to, as mentioned earlier, those behind the scenes. And one of those people, as far as uh, being one of the not only on, on hands on deck, day after day, putting in the hours, uh, part of the Hall of Fame committee, he'll have some closing remarks. Principal Eric Filippi, Heights Class of 1992. Eric. And Eric is so unassuming, when we first met, I didn't even know he was a principal. Maybe that's a good thing. Anyway, there. Great thing. Well, hello, Falcon family. And uh, as I say that, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool to be able to say that because I too, uh, as uh, Mr. Wright said, is a, I am a 1992 graduate of Wichita Heights High School. And some of the things that were said earlier um, about Heights being a special place, you know, I am a recipient of. Uh, sorry, I saw a Coach up there. I'm a recipient of some of the, uh, the male role models in this building that helped give me a trajectory. And uh, when I end up where I'm at right now, it is because of these individuals. And just really quick, uh, I don't want to be awkward, but uh, Coach Crosley, Coach Hagman, can we give these two gentlemen a round of applause? Like I said, it is a, uh, it's a very special place. Uh, I, I would like to thank some individuals that uh, was able to make this evening happen. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to re uh, recognize one of my classmates, uh, Mr. Doug McKay. And he did not realize that this part was going to happen, uh, but he was one of the benefactors that really made this night a success and got us off this, uh, got us, got us going on this. And so, Mr. McKay, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And then I would like to uh, recognize some of our Hall of Fame uh, committee members. And if I could start out uh, with Coach Mike Church, our athletic director. Give him a round of applause, please. Ms. Claire Overstate. Ms. Monica Gibbons was not able to be with us this evening, uh, but Mr. Jason Jabara. Ms. Sonia Bowman, she is Ms. Sonia. Mr. Darren Lucy, coach. Mr. Jeff Topping. Ms. Sherry Wallace, my right hand. And Mr. Josh Sheppis. And then our president, Ms. Kayla Titus. So when we, when we put this Hall of Fame committee together, it was, it was uh, uh, pretty cool. And I thought, hey, we got all these people with Heights Connections. They all have Heights Connections. We had a lot of educators 
But when you have a room full of educators trying to find a time to meet where everybody can get together, uh, because we had coaches that were doing coaching stuff, we had uh, teachers from other buildings, we had a lot of educators, uh, but because of technology, we were able to get together and be able to do some of these things. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, uh, to the committee, uh, truly thank you very much for all the effort and the hours that we put into doing this. Can we please give the committee a round? And then uh, Mr. Dale Heckman, fantastic job today with the car show. Uh, those that were able to uh, participate in that, it was an absolute And then Mr. Matt Kelly and Mario Barnes, thank you guys very much for uh, being the people in the background that's going to be able to help us get this message out to the individuals that could not be. So, uh, I, again, uh, for everybody that was recipients this evening, um, again, I believe what we do at the school is very important uh, for the students. Again, I'm a recipient of that. Um, from seeing Miss Sykes on St. Elsewhere and then going, hey, wow, that's pretty cool. She's a Heights grad. And then uh, the class of 77, you guys have been legendary. You know, since when I was here in 92, you guys were just legendary. And we had a conversation and it was like, well, these guys live with themselves. They don't probably realize just how cool they are. But man, this is really an amazing thing. Um, so for that 1977 team, something fun that's coming up. Uh, I believe it's February 4th is going to be our homecoming basketball game for our 60th anniversary. That's going to be our throwback game. And I got the photograph of the uh, final product today. But we uh, worked with Adidas, and Adidas has made throwback uniforms to replicate the 1977 basketball team uniforms. And they will be working that on our homecoming basketball game. So we'll be getting that information out. And I'm going to mess with what we're doing here. Uh, but uh, we will get that information out for that game. It's going to be a lot of fun. So um, other than that, uh, you guys, I truly appreciate you being here. I'm going to go ahead and get off the microphone so you can finish your evening. And thank you once again for being here. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm just wondering, do you have those candy striped pajama pants? Oh, does that Okay, well, size 42, 46, 48. <laughs> All right. I mean, you don't think we missed anybody? Uh, please do not be discouraged with the turnout. This was a, a room filled with love, filled with passion, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with joy for the accomplishments of young people and old ones as well. So leave here, chest out, heads up high, and be a blessing to someone you may be. And with that, we're going, one moment, uh -oh. All right. Come up and get your picture, and after that, you will be dismissed. Thank you very much.